بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Chapter 1 Marketing, Creating and Capturing Customer Value This is a marketing process Creating and Capturing Value We create value for our customer to satisfy the need to want and build a strong customer relationship in order to capture value in return this is a marketing process, a process by which companies create value for customer and build a strong customer relationship in order to capture value from customer in return. Who is the boss? Uh, there is only one boss in our business. Customer is a boss. Customer comes first and customer always right. Without customer we haven't business. No customer means no business. Customer drive our business. We are trying to satisfy our customer need to want. What we can market? We can market anything. I can market a tangible object, product, service, idea, information, maybe organization. I can market event. I can market place. I can market time. I can market even persons, uh, a political candidates, or I can market a social issue. Anything we offer in the market that satisfy our customer need to want, we can market. What is the goal of marketing? The goal of marketing is to attract a new customer, keep and grow current customer. I think we, we, we need to reorder our marketing goals to to be a keep and grow current customer and attract a new customer because without satisfying our customer need to want, we cannot attract a new customer. What's marketing? Marketing means marketing means studying the market, developing a product that satisfying a customer need to want. Set a price, a right price. Offer your product in a right place, I mean in a right market, where our target customer, and finally deliver our customer a positive message. This is a marketing mix, a set of marketing tools that work together to satisfy a customer need the want and the build the customer relationship. This is a marketing mix. This is a marketing mix of four B's, product, price, place, and promotion. It's marketing mix. A controllable factors. This is a controllable factors. I mean the factor that our marketing manager can control to adapt with uncontrollable factors. A marketing process. Marketing process, it's a five steps. Five steps. Four steps to create value and one to capture value in return. This is a marketing process. Five steps. Four steps to create value and one to capture value in return. Step one, understand the market. I mean, study the market. Two, Design a customer driven marketing strategy. I mean, select your customer. Three, construct an integrated marketing plan and program. I mean, four Bs. Four, build a profitable relationship and create customer delight. It's value and satisfaction. And finally, capture value from customer in return. This is a marketing process. This is a marketing process. Creating and capturing value. Between creating and capturing value, we build and maintain a good relationship with our customer. A simple model of marketing process. Understand the market base, design a customer-driven marketing strategy, preparing an integrated marketing plan and program, 
building case my relationship and finally capturing step one understand the market base and the customer need to want marketeers need to understand customer need to want and the market base in which they operate to understand the market we should examine five core customer and market based concept we should examine five core concept we should examine the concept of need one demand product and service i mean market offerings value and satisfaction exchange relationship and the final market what is the difference between customer value customer need customer want customer demand need it's something essential want it's a need shaped by culture and personality demand it's a want backed by purchasing or buying power this is a difference between need want demand need I need to eat, but want I want to eat seafood. Demand I have money to eat seafood. This is the differences between need and want demand. And when we are speaking about about need and want demand, we are speaking. We sh we should speak about uh, Matthew hierarchy of needs. He classified or arrange our need in uh, five stages physiological need safety need and this two level we are common with animals it's a lower order need love self-esteem self-actualization it's an upper order need it's an upper order need i think it's a want it's not a need but we consider our uh, hierarchy of Maslow. He, he named it uh, Matthew hierarchy of needs. He considered it that it's all a need. Market offering. Actually, we are not saying a product or a tangible object or a service, whatever. No, we are marketing a combination. It's market offerings. It's market offering. It's a combination of a product, service, information, experience, and the brand name, and 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 to a market to satisfy a customer need the want. Value and satisfaction. Satisfied customer will buy again and buy again and tell others about his good experience. And dissatisfied, for sure, he will switch to another competitor. It's value and satisfaction. What's value? It's total benefits minus total cost. The customer search for the highest perceived value to maximize the benefits that he will get and to minimize the cost or price that he will pay. And satisfaction means that customer perceived more than he expect. Exchange relationship. Exchange relationship, it's a core concept in a marketing theory. It means the act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something in return. This is a marketing offering. This is exchange relationship. What's exchange relationship? It's a relation between two parties. All parties have something value, value from the other side, freedom and the communication between each other. This is exchange relationship, the core concept in the marketing and the final markets. What's mar market? It's a set of uh, all actual and potential buyers. And this is the main element in the marketing system. Supplier, 
company, competitors, marketing intermediaries, and the final consumer. Designing a customer-driven marketing strategy. This is a marketing management. It's the art and the science of choosing target markets and build a profitable relationship with them. So we should decide what customer will we serve and how can we best serve those, these customers. It's target marketing. I mean, to which segment will we go after? This is a marketing management to find and attract and keep and grow target customer by creating and delivering and communicating superior customer value. So we should select our customer first. I mean dividing the market into smaller segment and select the right segment or attractive segment to go after and choosing a value proposition what's value proposition it's a set of benefits or values it promises to deliver customer to satisfy the need to want and when we promise our customer we shouldn't raise our customer expectations It's a history of our product concept, production concept, selling concept, marketing concept, and the finance. Step three. Step 3 in a marketing process preparing an integrated marketing plan and program. It's a marketing mix, a set of marketing tools that work together to implement its marketing strategy. It includes product, price, pace and promotion. It's a marketing program. It's a four Bs. The first B, it's product, price, place and the promotion this is a marketing tools marketing mix four b's a controllable factors and also the marketing function four building customer relationship or customer relationship management crm what crm it's the overall process of building and maintaining a profitable customer relationship by delivering superior customer value and satisfaction. This is a customer relationship. How to build and maintain a good relationship with your customer. We can to do that by, by delivering our, our customer superior value and satisfaction. Value means total benefits more than total cost and satisfaction means that our customer perceive more than they this is a value and satisfaction the key to build customer relationship customer value means Total benefits more than total cost. And you should know that customer buys from the firm that offers the highest customer perceived value. And what satisfaction? Satisfaction means that customer perceive, perceive more than he expects. If he perceived more than he expects or more, he became a satisfied customer or delighted customer or highly satisfied. Step five in the marketing process. It's a time to capture value from customer in return. 
capturing cash more value. Because we created, we created, uh, because we created value for our customer, it's our right, inshallah, it's our right, inshallah, to capture value from a customer in return. How to capture? We will capture value through customer loyalty and retention share of market and share of customer and the customer equity creating customer loyalty good customer relationship management creates customer delight in turn delighted customer remain loyal and took favorably to others about the company and its products. This is a customer loyalty and retention. Growing a share of customer and the market share. Good customer relationship management can help marketeers to increase their share of customer. And finally, building customer equity. Without customer, we don't have a business. We don't have a business. So we should consider, and we should know that one of our factors, we, can, we capture value from customer in return is to build a customer. What's customer equity? Customer equity is a total combined customer lifetime values for all of the company's customer. Companies should manage customer equity carefully. They should view customer as assets that must be managed and maximized. This is expanded model of a marketing This is a marketing process in one page, one site. Understand the market, I mean customer marketing resource and MIS marketing information system design a customer driven i mean select and decide how to serve construct a market integrated marketing plan and program i'm speak about product price place promotion i mean distribution and promotion building profitable customer relationship it's a customer relationship Management by delivering our customer superior value and satisfaction, and the final capture value from customer to create profit and customer equity. It creates satisfied UA customer, capture customer lifetime value. I'm speaking about customer equity, increase share of market and share of customer. Thank you, thank you, my student, and see you in the next chapter. Thank you.